Imagination is our greatest, one of our greatest internal strengths. If we know how to use our imagination, we can create or recreate anything. My mom lost both of her parents by the age of six. When she lost both of her parents, she was left with her grandmother and her grandfather. Her grandmother adored her. Her grandfather couldn't stand her. Couldn't stand her because of the times he was a fair skinned man and my mom was very dark. She's maybe five, six shades darker than I am. He just did not like my mom and he made her life miserable. And my grandmother, her grandmother died soon after her mom, let's say within a year or two after her mom died. So my mom, she was, you know, sent to different relatives trying to find a relative that could anchor down and help my mom grow. The reason that story is important is because my mom used books to envision family and envision the life she wanted. She didn't have the reality, the harsh reality that her parents lived in and the times she had books. I think they were like romance novels. I think that they were just books that allowed her imagination. And that's the most important point, right? So she used her imagination without knowing that that's what she was doing. Let me tell you how specific her imagination was. The thing she wanted most in life was a happy family. That's the thing she wanted the most. It's the reason that, that once she saw the dark side of daddy, which wasn't present all the time, it was when he was triggered, just like all of us, right? And when you don't have management over your triggers, you know, it can take you a while to go from triggered to regulate it. With my mom, she envisioned kids that loved one another. She envisioned laughter and a, a true sense of connection and community. And she envisioned lots of grandchildren. My mom is 91 years old. My mom has uh, the beginning stages of Alzheimer's and I just, I just did a post the other day and my mom is living her best life because even though she, she's had a wonderful life, she's a community person. She knows how to connect with people with her deteriorating cognitive abilities. When any one of her children, and that's from the one she birthed all the way to the great, great grandkids. If any one of them walks into her room, she lights up and she's ready to be here another hundred years. If you hold it in mind, you know, the, the whole law of attraction talks about it in detail, but everything in my life that I have wanted in a meaningful, deeply felt way has absolutely made its way into my life. And when I stop and compare, and I'm not talking about compare in that pejorative, you know, who's better kind of way, but just objectively looking at my life and the lives of other people that I grew up with, the difference is that I always had a vision. I always had something that was calling me forward. And here's, here's the thing about vision. 
vision, it can live in terms of your external desires and your internal ones. And that's the stuff, that's the part, the internal part is not spoken to or about often. If one is struggling with unhappiness, depression, any internal isolation, you know, a, a loneliness, a disconnection, insecurity, lack of confidence. If you can begin to envision yourself with more of what you want, being more of the person you wish you could be, having an image of yourself that allows you to walk into that room and connect with people or experience overwhelm and not feel identified with it. If you can envision that, you don't even have to, you don't even have to know how to get there. You just envision wanting it. Just wanting it is enough because if you truly want it, that vision is going to activate your super intelligence. You know, the intelligence that we all walk with and in, and you are going to begin to pick up a book, you know, turn on the television, run into someone at the store and information that helps you move towards your vision will be imparted. If you truly are wanting to go from where you are into the vision, then when the opportunity moments or wisdom moments meet you, you will take from that moment something and put it into action. And you will find yourself in your future by taking those steps. Come thrive at Phoenix Rising, February 2024.